Barrett Kroger, who we uh, we mentioned just a little while ago in our uh, in our conversation there. He finished first in the standings after the Swiss yesterday and today, playing against Grant Wilkerson with the reanimator. And uh, these guys still in game one, and wow, <clears throat> that's a board state. Wow, Ella Schnorn, that is a monster. She is a Praetor, actually. Ah, uh, Praetors are monsters, too. Sure, sure. I can get jiggy with that. Did you just quote some Will Smith on me? I think I did. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> I heard a story about Will Smith yesterday. I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> It was one about how parents just don't understand. <laughs> okay. Tarmogoyf, Nimble Mongoose. Very outclassed by Elish Norn. Yeah, um, I, hope that Mon I hope that Barrett has threshold right now because uh, otherwise that's a dead mongoose, right? I we mean... see a double block. Goyf is apparently 3-4. Now is that, is it a, is it a 5-6 or is it, well, whatever it is, it's dead. I think that that was a 3-4 after the minus 2, minus okay, 2. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. We're going to see an attempt to Lightning Bolt to finish off the Elish Norn. No, says Grant. Has the force of will. Removing, was it another force? It looked like force removing force, but I'm not sure of that. Hey, it was. He's, uh, looks like, I think it was anyway. And Barrett Kroger gonna fight back with his own force, and Grant has another force. So, counter magic battle here. Fight, fight. And uh, and now it's, uh, I guess it's Goyf, not Goyf, pardon me, Goose versus Elish. Yeah, this isn't looking good for uh, Barrett here in this game, but uh, he's still got two more that he can pick up after this if this one, if he drops this one. So, Elish Nord attacks. Mongoose gets in the way. And, and that's Barrett the end of that game. Up. So Grant Wilkinson with Reanimator takes game one from Barrett Kroger, <clears throat> piloting Rug Delver. Barrett's had a great weekend. Uh, he did lose in the top eight yesterday in the quarterfinals to uh, eventual finalist Preston Stone, also piloting Blue White Delver. So uh, Barrett trying to, trying to get at least a little deeper here. Trying to get to the semifinals in this match. It's going to be an uphill battle. For those of you just joining us, I'm Joey Pasco here in the booth with Adrian Sullivan. Hello, hello. We're coming to you live from Denver, Colorado, where we are covering the quarterfinals of the StarCityGames.com Legacy Open. And we've already seen a blazingly fast yeah. quarterfinal match. Now, Barrett. Featuring, uh, featuring Goblin Charbelcher. Oh, yeah, Charbelcher. Goblin Charbelcher just totally smashing things in uh, lickety-split time. Yeah, it was in, in actual game time, it was, I think, less than three minutes. Uh, counting the shuffling and mulliganing in between, it was about nine and a half minutes. The number of draw phases that occurred was two in the entire match. Wow. Barrett Kroger. Well, he didn't win on turn one in the first game. Didn't he? No, he, oh, he, that's he fair, emptied that's the fair. Warrens in Oh, turn he one. virtually won on turn one. Oh, uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, he, you know. he emptied the Warrens for, what, ten goblins? For ten goblins on turn one. On turn one, so... And there's nothing Maverick can do about ten goblins on turn one when it hasn't taken a turn yet. But there were more than one, uh, more than two okay. draw phases. Okay, that, that's, okay, hey, lawyer you know, man. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to get it right because I may just ask the trivia question, how many draw phases? <laughs> no, that's, that's not gonna, what I'm going to ask. We will be asking you guys another trivia question so that you have another opportunity to uh, to get some Star City Premium access. But first, we'll give away three months after the quarterfinals. Now, poor Barrett Krager, Kroger Krager, either way, he uh, is trying to change his luck around and make it past the quarterfinals this time. Okay, so sideboarding for Barrett. Submerge, not so great. There's no forests to be found on the other side of the table. Nope. Otherwise, that would be so awesome, but alas. Graph Digger's Cage. That's, well, that's probably for, coming in. It's casting from the graveyard, right? And then, no, it's uh, so, it can't come into play from the graveyard. It can't come into play from the graveyard. Okay. 
So, uh, Graph Digger's Cage is good. Graph Digger's Cage will do some work then. Okay. Uh, Fluster Storm seems reasonable in counter spell fights. Not great. Not great, but it's a, it's considerable. Uh, I mean, it's, it, you can consider it. Uh, Gilded Drake. Gilded Drake is awesome. Very good here. And Red Elemental Blast and Times Force of Will. Two. Yeah, he's got so there's three counter spells he can bring in in addition to one Tormod's Crypt. So I think he's got a reasonable amount of cards he can bring in. Uh, if he goes Graph Digger's Cage, Gilded Drake, Tormod's Crypt, there's three, and then three counter spells and two Red Blasts, uh, one Force. That's six cards. What does he take out? Um, I would say he would take out some of his weaker burn spells. Um, not just Lightning Bolt and Fire Ice, that's six burn spells. That could be it. I mean, he's, he's got a Scavenging Ooze there. That could also come in handy. I just, that's main deck. Didn't apparently see it that game, we, or at least we didn't. Um, but Scavenging Ooze can also come in handy here to, uh, to keep Grant's graveyard empty. And on uh, the other side of the table, one. Grant can bring in the uh, City of Traders Show and Tell combo to fight the Graveyard Hate so that he can just dodge the graveyard. Um, and then Parish is amazing against Rug Delver. Blazing Archon yeah. not so bad either. Blazing Archon's a good card. Other than that, yeah, I think that's that's it. He might bring in six cards himself, right? Or, I'm sorry, it looks like he's got five, six, seven, eight cards he could bring in here. And that's if he's not considering spell pierces. Right. And uh, the sideboarding, of course, of Reanimator, always an interesting prospect when you're talking about a deck that can become a partial show and tell deck. Right, it's actually tough to uh, tough to make the decision. You're like trying to next level each other. All right, he's a Reanimator deck. I want to bring in my Graveyard Hate, but what if he brings in he switches out to the show and tell? Now my Graveyard Hate seems kind of dead. So maybe I don't bring in my Graveyard Hate. And, you know, you have the Princess Bride all over again. You bested my giant, so clearly you must be a strong man. And you put the poison next to you. <laughs> However, you also bested my Spaniard. And so, in so doing, you must have studied. <laughs> That's the scene I'm talking about. Yes, yes. It's the scene everybody always references. Now, I love that scene. I, I wanted to mention this. We didn't get to talk about it while, while these guys are shuffling. It looks like Grant's taking a mulligan here. Barrett's kept on seven, is that right? As far as you know, shoebox? Uh, Barrett's kept on seven and Grant going to six as far as we know at this point. Okay, maybe they're both still shuffling. Oh, and then maybe they're both mulliganing. Mulliganing, that could be it. Well, we'll find out. Maybe they're both shuffling. We'll get that information in a minute. Uh, in the, uh, I guess the past day, or maybe the, just the past few hours, uh, Wizards has put up a, a page, or a number of pages, all about the guilds Ooh. of Ravnica. Now, What's your favorite guild? It's a, it's a, it's tough because I love Azorius. Really? Yeah, I think Azorius might be my answer, but is it also really cool? Interesting, interesting. And then, I, then I also like the mirror. So I, I'm a Selesnya person yeah. because I had a long, awesome history with Selesnya. Mm -hmm. However, um, in theory, I would be a Simic person, but I just didn't like the Simic cards. I think that's how I felt at the time as well. Like I, I wanted to, like I thought Simic was going to be the, the, you know, the guild that I was most excited to play with, but I. Uh, I ended up not really sticking with Simic, Simic too much. And since then, I've become less of a green mage. So uh, I think I'd have to go with Azorius uh, with Izzet as a potential contender to that. You know, it's the, is it the, uh, the rug delver to, to Maverick, you know, Maverick or, you know, vice versa. Is it really to the Azorius best Maverick, skilled? I mean, I don't mean it as the best. I just mean like they're... <laughs> They're competing for the for the top slot, and you know, some weeks I, I would answer Azorius, and other weeks I would answer Rug Delver. Apparently, yeah. Well, <laughs> or I just don't know that it. Rug is a. Uh, that's the Seta are not a guild. I'm just you know <laughs> trying to make an analogy here. <laughs> All right. So anyway, the, what I was getting at: no cards spoiled, but uh, some cool artwork spoiled. And so far, I've only gotten a chance to look at the Izzet and the Azorius artwork, but there is uh, apparently some artwork of what appears to be Raul Zarek. The, uh, there was there was some art spoiled of Raul Zarek maybe a year ago or more, and um, and it was speculated that he was an is it he looked very is it esque and it looks like he, he is and it looks like we can expect him to show up in the fall over at least in the Ravnica block. So what about Niz Nibbit? That's pretty exciting. 
Niv Mizzet is uh, or Niv Mizzet, my bad. Niv Mizzet is it is is it is, is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was nicely done. That nicely was rough. Done. No, it was that was tough actually. <laughs> so um, let's let's take a look at the Is It Guild really And quick. we're beginning. All right, so it looks Barrett like Barrett Craker. came to seven and Grant went to six, just as we uh, as we had originally suspected. And turn one, Tropical Island. Mm. <laughs> uh, lost, sorry. <laughs> you can see a force of will in Barrett's hand. Turn one, land go. And Grant plays Underground C. And that is a foil and tomb. What is that card? Oh, it's in tomb. Wow. Probably a graveborn in tomb because I believe Force of Will. Yeah, there's a Force of Will. It looks like it's in the new frame, so that's Tossing a... what? Uh, I can't tell what that is. Could be stifle. Looks like it could be stifle. Barrett definitely playing stifles. Times four, and those are the judge promo stifles, so yes. One of the things to remember about these top eight matches is that all of the players have access to each other's deck lists. There are no surprises here within the deck lists. Ponder, it's a fishy ponder. Foil, fishy ponder. I see days, days, uh, brainstorm. And Barrett checking to see what his land situation is here. Honestly, Days Days is a really good hand for him to keep if he has the land to be able to uh, use it. And he does. And or, or he can just take one of them and uh, toss the rest away. Yeah, looks like he uh, is going to crack his fetch land here. Going to 17. Fetching up another tropical island. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan here with Joey Pasco. We're seeing the second match of our quarterfinal. It's Reanimator versus Rug Delver, Grant Wilkinson versus Barrett Krager. Barrett trying to change his luck from yesterday and make it from the quarterfinals into the semis. So far, he is down a game, so. Needs to pick up these next two to change that luck. Nimble Mongoose is loose. It's a start, and it is uh, his graveyard currently, I believe, has four cards? Five, four cards in it. Okay. So, Careful Study says Grant. Daze says Barrett. Force of Will says Grant. Fight, fight. A counter war. And that's all. And it looks like that Careful Study is going to resolve. We're going to see our first card in the yard. I see a reanimate. Available Dropped for a Grant. Gristlebrand. Oh, that's scary. Into the yard. And, and an Entomb? It, it does look like another Entomb. Oh, and he's got the mana for the reanimate. There's a fetch land. Cracks that. Going to eight. I'm sorry, not eight. Eighteen. <laughs> it's going to be pretty close to eight after, <laughs> yep, yep. after casting his reanimate. The reanimate will take him all the way down to ten life. Yeah, now, it's going to take eight there. One of the things that's so scary about reanimator is that now that it has Gristlebrand, it's practically like you're playing the old tricks deck, which is to say, here you are, you have this crazy draw engine, you force of will to get it into play, then once it's in play, you just get another force of will. Yeah. So Gristlebrand appears on the table, and Nimble Mongoose is shaking in its boots. This could be a quick KO here for Barrett Krager. You mean uh, him, Barrett actually getting knocked out? Oh yeah, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense yeah. considering the board state. <laughs> Barrett trying to figure out what he can do here. What? Uh, he does not have access to um, anything uh, removal. -like. I mean, basically, Barrett's options here at this point Plays are another to get a Gilded Drake into play. He needs a Gilded Drake, and that's it. 
Yeah, I think that's just that one gilded drake that he has access to to deal with a onboard Gristlebrand. And, and now uh, at this point, I think the game is basically over. Yeah, this is this is where it really gets bad. So Grant now up to 17 after swinging with the Gristlebrand, getting that life link. He's going to use two of it to uh, if he resolves a Thoughtseize, which appears that he is not. But uh, or was it just one? No. What, what happened with that Thoughtseize? Yeah, he got a Force of Will from it. Oh. Didn't even see Barrett reveal his hand. Or he got something, and uh, the Force okay. of Will is still there. So he got something, we just don't know what. Okay. It, w it was a Force? He's got a Force in hand, too. How many Forces does he have? In for two or six, I can't tell. Maybe two? Yeah, we're, we're unable to see the graveyards now. I believe Barrett has Threshold. And so I'm going to say it was six. In comes Gristlebrand, gain seven. Now look, if, if you see this here, Grant could draw seven, but he doesn't actually have anything happening. Yeah. So he does not have to do it. There's a brainstorm from Barrett. We're going to get a life total update in just a moment, because Barrett is surely below ten, and I believe Grant <laughs> is at twenty. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Barrett at three. Also worth remembering that Stifle can stop uh, the draw seven ability. It the certainly cost can. cost is still paid. Right. But the seven cards are not gained. Yeah, so Grant, not uh, no need to press the attack here. He's just going to sit there with a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker. And, um, oh, and now he no. finally draws the seven. As we speak, there's, yep, yep, the, yep. Uh, there's the seven. And no Stifle available for Barrett. Uh, Grant now uh, pretty much holding the win in his hand. Well, actually, it's probably on the table turned sideways there after gaining him 14 life. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, He would be at negative one. <laughs> to he be fair, would be. He'd, be at, he'd be at six, right? Yeah, he'd right, like... right, because he wouldn't have drawn those seven. Brainstorm appears to be resolving now. Now, if Barrett is able to find a Gilded Drake and resolve it, that could really turn things around. But uh, it's the resolving it part that's going to be the real tricky thing after Grant just packed his hand. There it is. Ooh, right, we're going to find Drake. out. Gilded Drake and Brainstorm, and response. Brainstorm from Grant Wilkinson. Oh, wow. That's what if scary. this happens? Oh, there's a force of will. Yeah. <laughs> Draws into force with the Brainstorm. So, got to put two cards back. Puts two cards back, says and Force of Will. And we know Barrett. Yeah, Barrett only has one card. That's Gilded the only, Drake, that's, that's it. the only I think answer that's he it. has. Yeah. That's the match right there. Boom, quick 2 0. Oh. Barrett Krager unable to make it through. And uh, we see Grant Wilkinson, Wilkinson with Reanimator here, breaking through to the semifinals on the back of Gristlebrand. I think. Uh, Joining a number of other things stapled to the back of Bristlebrand. Yep. The 